Ah, Fire Emblem. The game that has Marth and Roy, the game of tactics, RPG, and strategy, the game with a bunch of really attractive characters that are female for no apparent reason fighting in war. But do you know what the Fire Emblem actually is? The Fire Emblem is usually an item that shows up in each one of the games in the series. This video today is going to briefly talk about the Fire Emblem as the objects that they are within their relative universes and when they show up. This list might contain some pretty big spoilers, so watch at your own peril. For Arcanea, Elise, and Valentia, the Fire Emblem is actually the Binding Shield, which is the same item for all three, albeit they have slightly different names at different points in time. Forged by Naga's Fangs to seal the Earth Dragons, it's utilizing the first war against Medius, Nina later on entrusts it to Marth to use against Medius, in a new mystery it's given to him by Lind. In both cases, the missing orbs have to be found, restores the Fire Emblem to its true form after you've collected all of the stones. For Marth, however, it goes even further, being an item that you can utilize to open chests in the game. It's actually pretty useful, making Marth a pseudo-thief. In Awakening, the Fire Emblem is entrusted to Krom by Emerin, and he also has to collect all of the stones, now renamed different stones for whatever reason. Once he collects all of them together, he is able to seal off the Fell Dragon, or ultimately destroy it depending on which actions are taken. In the world of Yggdral, the Fire Emblem is actually the crest of House Velthamer. So it's interesting because it doesn't really pop up that often, it's only really mentioned in the epilogue of Fire Emblem 4, but it is actually the crest for Arvis's house. It doesn't really appear in the game at all, it's only mentioned in passing. For Fire Emblem Warriors, it is called the Shield of Flames, which is actually an item much akin to the Binding Shield. It's utilized by Darius to resurrect Velazark, the Chaos Dragon. It is also the only item that can conveniently seal Velazark away if all the five Gleam Stones are assembled. In the world of Elib, it's the Seal of Burn. Hartmut utilized this to seal Idun and the Biting Blade away. In the Blazing Blade, this item is stolen and is retrieved by Eliwood and his gang for Zephiel to ascend to the throne. Zephyr later on uses it to unleash Idun, and in the Binding Blade it's stolen by Guniver and given to Roy in hopes that he can stop Zephyr. He later on recovers the Binding Blade with it. In Magvel, it is actually the Sacred Stone of Grado. It possesses two halves, one of them being the original Sacred Stone and the second half being the Dark Stone. Inside the Dark Stone houses the Spirit of the Demon King. The half that was the older stone was broken once Leon utilized it to revive Vigard. The Dark Stone remains in his possession, and later on is utilized in order to resurrect Formortis completely. In the Telia series, it's called Laron's Medallion. It houses Uni, the Dark God, inside of it. The medallion reacts very powerfully to chaos. However, this can be suppressed by the Herons and their Galdra. Anyone who touches the medallion that does not have the right amount of balance between order and chaos goes into a homicidal rage until the medallion is removed from their hand. This happens to Ashnard in Path of Radiance, and before that, it happens to Grail as well, causing him to slaughter a bunch of villagers and his wife. In Fates, when the four legendary weapons, the Fujinyumi, Raijinto, Siegfried, and Brihildr all react with Yato, it creates the Omega Yato. The Omega Yato is Korin's sword and is super powerful. After it's been powered up, it also confers some pretty busted stats, granting plus 4 strength, speed, def, and res while in the inventory, and dealing 3 quarters of damage instead of 1 half of damage on enemies with dragon skin. In the world of Foldland, the Fire Emblem is the Crest of Flames. Its effect in combat is that it restores HP equal to 30% of damage dealt while using weapons, combat arts, or attack magic. It also has another effect of 1 in 4 chance to raise might by 5 and prevent counterattacks. This crest is seen on Byleth, on Edelgard, and on Nemesis. Ironically enough, in Tokyo Mirage Sessions, the Opera of Light is the Fire Emblem there, not being a physical object, but actually being a ritual in which you're utilized to summon the Divine Dragon Naga. Itsuki sings it with the members of his party, and attempt to take down Medias, who was revived by the Opera of Shadows. Last but not least, the Fire Emblem in Engage is Emblem Alir. This is the first time that the Fire Emblem is actually a person, and in this case, Alir retrieves the power of the Fire Emblem after he is killed trying to save his sister Vale. The emblems then get together and perform the miracle, which confers that person the power to become an emblem and revives them again. Alir, being of that world, exists as a person and also as an emblem, 
and the emblem itself is incredibly busted, conferring some pretty insane stats and effects that allow Alir to quickly dispatch enemies on the field with another person being powered up as well. And that's it! These are the items that are the Fire Emblems within the respective worlds in the Fire Emblem universe. I hope you guys really like this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. The channel is growing and I really like it. I love the discourse. Let's keep that momentum going. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful night.